now my video stuff on over. So one person complained at the fact that he couldn't see me. So I'm gonna try to do my videos with the light on. Um, so let's get it. This is obviously by the title. It's gonna be a what if Decky had a light course part four. It might I might be wrong on the parts, but I'll check that out as I'm uploading. Um, so here we go. So we pretty much, it's been a while since we did this what if, so we pretty much left off around um, when um, Deku recruited Todoroki into the League of Villains. Um, him, Kodoguri, Shidoraki, um, they all pretty much went back to base. Um, so, let's see here. Let me check my notes real quick. Oh, okay, there we go. That's where I'm at. So right now, the League of Villains are just scheming, doing some bullshit, and what would be happening with the main cast is they would be doing their little training and stuff. Bakugo would be the top of the class, he would be a lot more motivated. Uh, Endeavor was slightly exposed for the bullyment of his ch uh, children, so let's see here. I'm going to say they get the dorms, let's see, right, course. yeah, they're going to get the dorms a lot early on, so one, they can keep a close eye on their students, um, two, um, because of what Endeavor did, and he was kind of exposed, because Todoroki made an announcement, I'm joining the League of Villains, the reason I'm joining the League of Villains is for this reason, blah, 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 my dad beats me. I couldn't do none because he's super strong. Not really those words, but basically. So now that we got that out of the way, would be introduced to where they would think about kidnapping Bakugo. But Todoroki and Deku would stop this one. Deku's a lot stronger, plus he's one for all's prodigy right next, uh, right under Shidoraki. And remember this Deku, he's a lot more vicious. He's a lot more gory. But he still, in a weird way, has a kind heart. He just wants everyone to be free and everyone to do their shits. You feel me? So, so how that's going to work, right, is he's going to do that. So instead of this Beast Force and all that stuff, Deku says, no, we're not going to waste these good good aces. Muscular might be stupid, but he's strong. And then that uh, teeth guy, the flesh guy, he's... A little weird, but he is strong. So what he does instead of doing all of that is he takes everyone out to a discreet location. Since he's able to analyze quirks and stuff, all for one approves of this. They go to a secret location. And I'm going to potentially, let me ask y'all real quick while y'all are watching this. Do you have a problem with manga spoilers? Because I could do something with this training, but like I don't know how y'all feel about manga spoilers. So let me know. Like, right now, just let me know. <laughs> like, I'm going to actually see the comments. Anywho, joking aside, but not joking, do let me know for real. And the NRs, put those down in the comments. Put down anything, I don't care. Please, at least keep it positive. Or it's a whole bunch of letters. Just help me out my al algorithm. Um, anywho, enough with me promoting and plugging myself. So what happens is everyone goes outside. They do some training. Um, all for one is keeping in contact. Kuda Gittery is right there. He, he even tells Kuda Gittery to do some training too. So what this is going to do is one, this is going to make everyone a lot stronger. Two, it's going to make everyone a lot stronger. So Todoroki's keep trying to keep his eyes and fire and control without actually knowing, you know, his dad's not going to teach him. So he's not going to learn anything like that. Deku tells him, um, I want you to work on first on your stamina. I want you to burn as hot as you can and then freeze as hot as you can. And Deku, he's an extreme mentor, so he's not going to go for any of the bullshit. Um, I don't, I'm sorry, I don't know. Every, so, guys, give me some ideas on what the other members can do. And by the way, put what their quirk is because I don't know all of their names. What he does for twice is he tells twice to make a clone. And then he punches twice as hard as he can. Basically, he threatens men's lives. And then he's like, um, um, then after he punches twice, like he was beating the living Christ out of twice. And twice is like confused. And everyone's actually confused. Even Kurt Geary thinks about stepping in for a second there. And he's like, did you vanish once? He said, no. He takes off the mask. Dude's bugging out. Jaws him into a, like a nearby rock. 
Let me ask you a question. And this is when the red red light starts kind of showing around him a little bit. Did you disappear at all? I was like, no, I didn't. Exactly. He got blood, uh, Deku got blood from different experiments from different people for uh, the blood girl to try out. And then he also made a man's, uh, Shiraki, I think that's how you say his name, um, do with the hands. He made him do some training. Well, we won't really talk about that. And he also gave him special gloves so he can actually touch stuff. Um, some high tech gloves actually, so where he, he can do a certain movement. It's a particular move. It's not something you do while you're asleep. So it would have to be like, da, 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 or something weird. It would have to be like an initial movement, not something you'll just <laughs> start killing somebody. And so they're basically doing a lot of training. Also, right now, everyone's in the Beast Force. They're doing training too, but with their training not being interrupted, they get even more in the, in the, um, The props, the props, the media and stuff won't be all on their dome pieces. So let's see here. So right now during this time where everyone's training and stuff, right? Um, one for all and um, one for all and all might. They're basically getting ready to fight. They're not fighting right now. I'm just saying one for all is like looking, watching how everyone's doing all this training and stuff. And he's like, Deku will leave this place in good hands. He's like, Shuraki, I know you don't like me. I don't care. You can fight me at any given time, sneak attack or anything. If you can kill me, yeah, sure, you can have this place. But see, you were so stuck. Basically, what he's doing is he's doing what man did in the start of season uh, four, where he's already telling dudes, like, you're not a leader. You were going to waste these potential aids. And then, then he's like, okay, so what makes you so, and all this other crap. Um, I don't know if I did it where they did like the normal attack or whatever, because it's been a minute and I didn't rewatch all of them. But I'm going to say that did happen and I'm going to say that that did work. The normal you sent to kill all might didn't kill all might. We lost a lot of uh, low tier thugs. Um... <laughs> <coughs> We can't take over the world with just a handful of people. We need an army. Deku snaps him. A whole bunch of people with weird looking bodies and stuff. See, all of these people here, Kuro Giri pulled them out. All these people here, they're here because of me, not because of you. Okay, everyone's actually looking at this. And everyone's actually shook. Um, They're here because of me, okay? Not because of you. I gave them a reason to live. I told them what, what that cost. I told them what could happen. I showed them what would happen if they disobeyed me. I showed them what happened if they could fail. Basically, Deku's like, he's fair, right? But if you bullshit him, or if you don't do your best, you get punished. So, I'll give y'all a quick example. Let's say he sent you out to go get him some milk. But instead of bringing him almond milk, you bring him regular milk. Not a big deal. He'll just punch you. The only reason he does this, and he explains it like, don't take this the wrong way. I love all of y'all the same, but I don't want none of y'all to think I'm soft. He still has, a, he's still a little bit traumatized from the shit he used to get bullied about, but don't think I'm soft. All right. Okay. Now that we got that out of the way, now that we understand this, he tells everyone, y'all keep training at your leisure, but when I call, I expect you to be there and be ready. Sends them all away. He says, actually, you, I want you to stay. This is a random person. That's not in an actual story. But we'll, I'll give y'all an imagery. She's a female. Looks like she's in her mid, mid-teens to somewhere near her barely high uh, 20s. Not high 20s, like young 20s. And she has like a very muscular physique. Um... She's more on the smaller sky height wise, and she has blue eyes, blue hair, and she's blue. All right. Now you might be like, what is he going to do with this girl? So he brings it over to um, Dachi. He's like, this is your training partner. She's like, happy to meet you. Now, don't let her cute appearance fool you. She is extremely powerful. We're going to call her, I'm going to say ice in Japanese, but I don't know how to say that. So 
I'm just gonna call her Ice for right now until I look up how to say Ice in Japanese, or or like something really fancy. But anywho, Ice was like, "Yeah, it's nice to meet you." Blah blah blah. He told Dachi, "You need to get control over your flames." And instead of having Dachi the way he is, he fully heals Dachi from all of his old scar, and he looks a lot better. So he continues training, and then also. He also has somebody else to teach everyone hand-to-hand -hand combat, which is Stain. All right. Now they did have um, a scuffle, not really a scuffle, but um, they did was struggling when they was fighting Endeavor. But the difference with um, Deku is he was actually able to recruit Stain, because he told Stain, he's like, "If you want to join, that's cool. I will need your help. We need to make this world." Because he he they, they shared similar ideas. Like we got to kill all these fake heroes. Like. They gotta go, like, bye. Like, you got, you gotta go. All right, fuck it. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. So, Stain is there to teach everyone a good, good sum of um, hand to hand fighting combat, fighting powers, and all this shit. So, this is going on all during the Beast Force arc. Um, yeah. Let's see here. So that happens. So basically, that that's kind of where I gotta leave it because I can't. Uh, there's no really no more need for me to go even in depth into the training. Um, now everyone else just rested back up. They pretty much got done what they're doing, and everyone went back to the main base or the main base. They you know, um, one for all fully trusts Deku at this point in time because there's a lot of things where one for all intentionally put things in his way to see if he would betray him, but he basically killed. Whoever, but they didn't really get killed. They were just sent away because one for all was like, I'm not going to let you die for this. Um, but Deku doesn't know that. Not at all. Well, he knows he was being tested on some things, but not all of them. All right. So now we would get into where the big dramatic fight happens. So how I'm going to say is um, everyone's just chilling and breathing and stuff. And he says, could get her? He says, I'm on it. And he sent everyone away. And then the, the second he does this. Um, but the viewers, if you were watching this like it was an anime, y'all wouldn't know he did this. He said, Kurugiri, and Kurugiri would say, I'm on it. All my buses in, everyone's like their traps and all this stuff. And then basically the exact same thing happens. The only difference is Bakugo is in here and All Might's there, busting down doors, and a whole bunch of stuff happens. So instead of everyone getting knocked out immediately, Deku turns himself into light and starts fighting all for one. Um, I think he would start fighting off one endeavor and then that weird plant hero. But he pretty much would pin most people down and just start fighting off for one. And now that he's fighting off for one, someone that's strong, he's uh he fully powers up. So he's fully using his quirk. Okay. He's fully using his quirk and everything, right? So there's nothing stopping man. So he's just going all out. And they're fighting, and their fighting is actually immense, so a lot of stuff's getting destroyed. And All Might's all like, oh, why would you do this? Why would you blah, 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 blah. It, it basically just like a lot of going back and forth. All Might's trying to convey him to become a hero. You shouldn't do this. You can turn him back around. And he's like, why would I go back to a place that didn't accept me? And it's really just kind of a big spill on Deku's part, okay? So... With that being said, and with the, all that happening, um, Deku um, is just being reckless. Like, they're just throwing dummy good hands. All Might has the big ass advantage overall, but Deku's doing some fairly good throws. Blows, he's like shooting him with rays of light. Um, he's like phasing through All Might, hitting him with certain moves, hitting him with slams and all this martial arts stuff that he was, you know, trained about before he realized he had this dummy OP quirk. And then right before um, he actually loses or whatever, um, the gang is like, the gang is off in a different area. So right before he realizes he's going to lose or anything like this, what ended up happening now is, um, I forgot what I was saying. What's happening now is All For One comes into play and the fight pretty much happens in similar camera. All for one pulls up and pretty much everything happens again, but Deku's there and all for one's dummy week. 
But the difference is I'm going to say that all for one injury isn't as major and, and it nearly isn't as, you know, big. Um, Deku up until this point, no one knew who he was or what he was. Even now he has a mask on. Um, so what ended up happening is when all for one is defeated, he thinks he's dead. And then he goes up to Alpha One and he's crying and stuff. And, you know, All Might's shook and rebelled about this all since instead of him being at like 100%, he's about 80 ish. Um, I'm going to say his injuries were a lot minor, but it still, you know, messed with his timing and how long he could be in his form and stuff. So, how this would play out is um, Deku would have gotten extremely mad. And when I say extremely mad, I mean he would have been livid, right? He just would have been screaming, shouting, pulling hair out, scratching himself. He just would have been, like, <clears throat> up the top, up the wall about what just took took place, right? So he went from his lights were, like, shooting out and midding out just... He was bugging out, um, kind of like, um, who was bugging out? Kind of like Vegeta was when Bama got slapped, um, kind of how Goku was when he turned Super Saiyan. Like, he was just flipping. All Might took his dream away of being a hero. All Might this, All Might that. Everyone, he even thought about Shudoraki. He thought about the stuff Saints did. And he was just like, I right. But he would be screaming really loudly. He'd be like, I've had enough of that. <laughs> He's just slurring his words, right? And then at this moment, he erupts just light, fury, light, fury, light, fury, light, fury. His lights are flicking on and on from a goldish god color to like a venomous red. Just on and off, on and off, on and off. And then at that moment, it happened. He peeks. And all you see is red, dark-ish, but mainly a blood lust red and stain taught him some stuff too so right now all you feel is an immense intimidation and this is felt almost all the way around japan an immense massive blood lust he says oh mate i'll give you one i'll give you two chances just for you being in my childhood here and stuff you can leave right now, and I won't hurt you. He's like, look, kid. Then before All Might can say a thing, Deku's in his face, and he, first, he, I'm not going to say he punches. I'm going to say he has his hand in his face, and he, like, shoots him with solidified um, light, and that punches, and that punches All Might, like, far as fuck, but, but he's not done yet. He pulls All Might back. And just starts welling on man. And I'm gonna say everyone else is they're still in fair good condition. So never want to get payment and Gran Torino's there. So they try to join it. But instead of being brutal and stuff, he looks at Gran Torino. Gran Torino hasn't really done much to him, right? So he's not gonna be too malicious on man. So what he does is he pretty much blows these dude kneecap out and like just sends them flying. He looks at Endeavor, and literally in this moment, all the stuff Todoroki's told this man, he's burnt, he's burned my side. He and Todoroki wasn't being a bitch or anything about it. He just forced it out of. He it's really weird because when he's with his homies, he's still kind of the same nice cupcake, but you know he's strong. So you, and most of the time he just shut flexes his power just so people know, I can kill you, but I'm kind hearted. And he's not as manipulative as all for one is. So, he sees this man and he thinks about all this stuff. Todoroki says, All Might is trying to come at him, right? He grabs all for one with like this immense hand of light. But instead of it being like a divine loving light, it's just like this red hatred that's coming up from hell. And chucks All Might out of the dish. This Deku isn't necessarily powered up, but his quirk has reached a new state of power. So when when um when um Endeavor tries to hit him, it just phases through him, just phases through him, phases through him, cause he's become light. He's not being like a light. He is light. So at this moment, Deku puts his 
puts the worst beating on Endeavor. So he is just beating this dude down. He's ripping, slashing, and he's making him this dude suffer. Anytime he tries to haul out in pain, he's like, You didn't haul out in pain when your first son left. You didn't haul out in pain when Total Rocky left. Just haul out in pain now. So he's just brutally beating this man. Like, blood is going everywhere. Everyone's seen this. Everyone is shocked. There's like, where is All Might going? Where is All Might? And Deku is like, it's eventually about the where he's about to brutally murder this man, right? So he's like just stabbing and like he's doing like things that are painful but won't kill. At any time, um, Endeavor tries to pass out from pain, Deku like hits him to make him wake back up and keeps on the, the brutal, brutal 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 insult so first now he starts going for ligaments and stuff right so first he pulls out his all his sockets like pull everything out of its socket and keeps putting in the back in and keeps pulling them and then he puts it back in and then breaks it and then when he breaks the arm he doesn't just break it he breaks it and then twists it then he breaks the hands and then like, he break he grabs the man by the dome and just like gets a whole bunch of light clones and they just try like well welling on man welling on man welling on man just being the god living scent out of this dude then he breaks the other arm but he does it slowly so instead of it just like a he, and this dude both of his arms are broken then Deku just starts whipping his man. Just whip, 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 slash, slash, slash. And then he goes in for like a dramatic punch. And like he, he's like, all right, enough playtime. So he summons up like a big meter of light, like a big needle. And he's about to hit him. And then all for one comes back in to play. And then like just flings that out of the air. And then him and all might start fighting, right? But the thing about this, right, is Deku was on such a new level. All Might's having trouble. Even if he was at full power, like 100%. You know what Deku does? He is so angry right now that he wants to beat All Might, so he says, stand still. For whatever reason, All Might, listen. He says, restoration. And, like, he burns All Might, but it heals him. So he looks, and he's, like, back in full power. And, and I think I'm just going to say, like, he just got this ability, or it's not something he can do easily. But now since he's powered up, he can do it easily. Got to keep my continuity and plot holes away. So, then when he does that shit, right, he immediately, immediately says, all right, you're at full power. He breathes in all the photosynthesis and all the air in the round him. So you're at full power now, all right? Show me what you got. And they're like, yeah, no way, all oh, Mike, and blah, 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 blah. So, when this happens, right, all Mike comes at death. And Deku weaves every single punch at like incredible speeds. He's moving so fast. This literally looks like a 10 year old versus 20 year old. It's not even a match, okay? And so this dude is getting his shit rocked, bro. All Might is losing. And Deku, he is hitting him with heavy hits. Not even like fast dabs or any type. He's hitting this dude with heavy hits and just like beaming him. <laughs> Just beating his ass. And as he's doing this, he's sitting there talking about all the bullshit. What about all the people that are messed up because of the quirk? What about all of the people that have quirks that make them look like villains? You, y'all you think this, and he's sitting there just going on about it. You think this is justified? You think this is okay? We can't use our quirk, but... Anyone can breathe, anyone can walk, but what if I have a quirk that makes me levitate and I can't control it? What am I then? Am I a villain right then and there? Huh? What if I want to use my quirk for my business? I have to go get a license for that? Are you serious? And he's saying this, he's fierce. Anytime All Might comes at him, he grabs All Might, brutally does a combo, kicks him away, and he's just screaming about the injustice of this false vessel. And he's going to show y'all. Y'all rely too heavily on one person. If y'all want to be protected, y'all need to band together and protect each other. I might be a villain only due to the conventional means. How am I a villain? I haven't done a single bad thing all up until now. Some of the things he's not aware of, so it's not a complete lie. 
I just wanted to live my life and be a hero to protect and serve. I promise, though, I will protect and serve of my people. Since apparently being quirkless or looking like a villain makes you a villain. So this goes out to any wannabe heroes or anybody that's listening. If you want to join me, I accept you full heartedly. You will have to go through some work here, training, blah, blah, and a whole bunch of other stuff. But I am sick and tired of all these people saying you care in this. Because they never, he grabs this dude. But, like, instead of just grabbing him normally by his hair, he, like, sticks out his, like, lights and just pinks his dude. And instead of being a pet hero like this, this dude abuses and beats his own kid. Isn't that right? Todoroki. Todoroki comes out, like, with this new suit on, which helps regulate his heat, and also it increases his attributes, makes him more flexible, has small first aid capabilities, and a whole bunch of other stuff. And Todoroki, tell him your story. Todoroki is sitting there telling the news media and stuff, all of this. And then while this is happening, you know all those villains we talked about? They don't do much, but they make sure it keeps running. They make sure it keeps streaming and nothing is going to stop them from streaming this. So while this is happening, All Might is trying his hardest, but he is not able to touch this kid. And then Deku says, enough. And then this immense, Todoroki is actually cool because he's used to, and this immense, bloodlust and hatred comes i am a villain now everyone's shocked i am a villain now. not because i want it to be and not because i think it's fun or th- because i think it's cool i actually wanted to be a hero but this number one hero he has this dude impaled now so all my can't move he was the reason i turned this path he is the reason i can't blah 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 you know goes into a whole bunch more stuff He goes into, like, he discouraged me. He was my motivator for the longest time. But then when I actually met him, found out about his injury, he told me, I can't be it. Regardless if it was a good reason or not, he's still the reason. He's still the reason I was drove into this path. And I'm going to do something so evil. And, like, he says, it's like a menacing smile that not even all for one would be. Would even think, no, 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 it'd be something like, not even all for one would stoop this low. So instead of killing all from all might, right, he goes for in rep, incurable damage, right? So what he does is he like burns certain parts of his body that won't heal right at all. And he also has like constant photons, so it's making sure it never heals. So basically, he, after he get done, brutally beating this man up. He cripples this man, basically. So, All for One will never be the same. He'll be alive, but just barely. He'll be conscious. He'll have all his functions and stuff. Um, He also made it to where he can't... um, It's really weird. He made it to where the man can't speak. So, he can't train no new heroes. He made it pretty much to where man's, like, can't really do anything. All he can do is watch. And said, he throws him... um, Tori, um, Gran Torino picks him up barely. Boy, are you all right? Basically. And so he, um, says, don't worry. I didn't kill your number one hero. I kept him alive, but barely. I want him to watch as all the people he tried to protect, blah, 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 and all this stuff. And now before you go screaming that I'm the bad person, who's really the villain here? All for one putting the whole society on his back. So what happens when you only have one support and that support is snapped into a million pieces? It's all of your fault. Every single last one for what's happened today. You shunning out people without quirks. You shunning out people that have dreams. You shunning out people that want to better the society. All because they don't have a flashy, strong looking quirk. You disgust me. And you're giving, um... Um, the school, um, you hate all this flack for letting the heroes and all this type of stuff. Now, let me ask y'all something. You know how hard it is to raise a kid? Because I don't, but I'm pretty sure it's darn hard. So imagine going to school and then eventually he breaks into his whole life story. And he sits here and says, now that all of y'all know this, 
There's one thing I want to do. He looks at Endeavor. Unless you want to stop me. This will be one of the few times I won't kill someone for getting in my way. Or attempt to. Or cripple them. Or, you know, whatever the case may be. Todoroki looks. At Endeavor. He says, no. I'll do it with this new move I've been working on. Alright. But I would like some help. Say less. So what um, Deku does is he spikes Endeavor up really high. Todoroki claps his hands together. Father, never did like you. Flames and ice starts to erupt around and around and around. And then he combines them into like one gigantic move. And he's just kind of like. And I hate everything you've done. I hated how you treated me. But if you didn't treat me this way, I would have never met Deku. So for that, I thank you. And then in this moment, he obliterates Endeavor. In one shot, easy, light work. But instead of killing him, he crispy this dude. Like it was a weird crispy burn type thing. And Deku was like, you sure you want to leave him alive? Yes. I want him to know that something he made, something he created, was the thing that destroyed him. So, right before everyone leaves, because it's pretty much done and deal, he made his proclamation, he made everything. You see another fighter that enters the fray, Bakugo. And this Bakugo is a lot stronger than what he was in Canyon 1 for obvious reasons, because of training and stuff. Because they were able to continue the training without. And I'm going to say he has one for all. And he had a lot of training with um, um, All my. He's like. I won't. He's like. So before anything said. Bakugo immediately tries to jump on uh, Deku's bumper. But he, he solidifies. He, and he starts beating this dude with just purely hand to hand combat. And just dust this man's. And, you know, Bakugo does some clever, tricky plays and stuff. But Deku was like, <sighs> enough. And so immediately just, like, breaks his little um, things. Uh, his little... Um, what's it called? What's it called? What's it called? His little gauntlets. And then he doesn't damage dude. I'm not going to say he, like, breaks this dude. But, like, he puts a good beating on man. And then... As, as Buck goes, like, on the ground, he's, like, he's, like, he bites him, bites a Deku on, like, the ankle or something. And then Deku just kind of, like, smacks him away a little bit. He's, like, you better kill me now. Because if you don't kill me, I'll come back for you. I promise. I'll do. He says, fair enough. Charges up a very concentrated amount of light. Shapes it into like a whip. And then Noah Bosta. And then hits Deku. I mean not Deku. Bakugo. And then flies this dude all the way to a whole other side. This dude goes into like an ocean nearby. But like it's a dummy amount of far. And so that happens. Um, After that happened. That's pretty much where we would wrap off. Um, How that you know. How everything here would play out. Because we're done. This is it. Everything like this, this is how it happens. Total, I mean, Todoroki and Deku, they leave. Kurigiri takes them. And then before he leaves, he shoots Gran Torino on the uh, shoulder blades. And then he says, oh, yeah, by the way, lights out. And then all the media and everything is all gone. And just a quick little pre of what the next video might be about. I don't know what it's going to be about. I haven't made it that far yet. But... Right now, everyone's in a state of terror. Everyone